Hello friends. In this video I will show you how to protect cucumbers, peppers, tomatoes and other plants that you have already planted in the greenhouse from night frosts. Such mini heaters will be very easy to make with your own hands. Now I am in my new greenhouse, as you can see, the plants have already been planted, and at night, according to the weather forecast, frosts are transmitted, for those who did not know, the temperature below 41 degrees Fahrenheit or below 5 degrees Celsius is considered to be frosts. At this temperature, the processes in the plant slow down, irreversible processes occur in the plant that can lead to damage to plant tissues or complete death. The thermometer in the greenhouse is now 12 degrees Celsius, it's 54 degrees Fahrenheit, and it's only 6 p.m., and outside the greenhouse 11 degrees Celsius is 52 degrees Fahrenheit. As you understand, the temperature difference in the greenhouse and outside is not large, so the greenhouse will not protect plants from frost. And that's why I made such a mini heater for my greenhouse and now I'll show you how to make it. You will need a small glass jar with a lid, I use baby food, in the center of the lid you need to drill a hole with a diameter of 5 millimeters. This is the minimum diameter of the hole, it can be a little more, but not less, because we will stretch the wick into this hole and the thicker it is, the stronger the flame will be. Then, closer to the edge of the lid, we tighten the self-tapping screw. This is necessary to secure the top of such a metal can. To which I screwed a small corner. And this is how it will look in the end, but first we make a wick for our heater, the easiest way is to make it from cotton wool. We tear off a piece of cotton wool so long that it reaches the bottom of the jar with a small margin. And with the help of fingers, we twist the cotton wool into a thin wick. So it will be easier to pull it through the hole. It is necessary that the cotton wool sticks out a little outside. And I use sunflower oil as fuel. I pour it to the top, then gradually lower the wick into the jar so that it is soaked in oil and tighten the lid. Then you need to make holes in the top of the metal jar so that carbon dioxide escapes through them. Otherwise if there are no holes, the wick will quickly go out. And now I'm fixing a metal jar on a glass one. I have a pyrometer with which I will clearly show you the effectiveness of this heater. It displays the temperature in degrees Celsius and the room temperature bank is 22 degrees Celsius. You can see that the values are changing. This is due to the fact that it is difficult for the pyrometer to measure the temperature on a shiny surface. Now I light the fuse and measure the temperature again. It gradually increases, you need to give at least a minute to warm up, for example, if you hold your hand very close to the jar, you can get burned. I measure it again with a pyrometer, as you can see there is a dark place on the jar, it shows the temperature correctly. And the temperature on the surface of the jar is 70 degrees Celsius, which is 158 degrees Fahrenheit. Now I am installing this heater in a greenhouse, the size of my greenhouse is 4 yards long and 3 yards wide, such a greenhouse will require 4 such heaters installed in between the rows. But you can do it more economically. I installed arcs of metal plastic plumbing pipe, stretched agro fabric with 50 density on top. This allowed me to reduce the heating area by 10 times with this heater, now I will only heat the air only under the cloth, and not in the entire greenhouse. I put an old unnecessary bucket on top of the heater, in which I pre-drilled holes, and put a brick on top so that the fabric does not come into contact with the bucket and does not burn out, as well as the brick will heat up and give off heat. And now I'm measuring the temperature again already on the surface of the bucket, as you can see the temperature ranges from 30 to 34 degrees Celsius, it's from 87 to 94 degrees Fahrenheit. But after 30 minutes, the temperature under the fabric is 16 degrees Celsius, this is 61 Fahrenheit. This is 4 degrees Celsius more than in the greenhouse itself, which means that the plants will not suffer from frost. But in addition to the advantages of this heater, such as ease of manufacture, improvised materials and durability of the design, there is one minus, it lies in the fact that the part of the wick that is located above the lid burns out in 3 hours and then the wick needs to be pulled up with a needle then it will burn out for 3 hours, as you understand, this moment should not be missed so that the wick does not go out and such an amount of oil is enough for the heater to burn for several days. I also came up with a simple oven for heating a greenhouse, which works without firewood, gas and electricity for up to 8 hours without fading and can save seedlings even from frost, soon this video will be released on my channel. And if the information from this video was useful to you, then like and subscribe to my channel, there will be many interesting videos ahead.